Penny Pincher. I'm excited. Tonight is our only nighttime Facebook Live where we will be making five meals in like 20 minutes. We have a super fun giveaway for you guys, which we're excited about. If you are new to Passionate Penny Pincher and don't know what I'm talking about, we are talking about our Passionate Penny Pincher menus, meal planning made easy um, freezer cards. They are amazing. You can click the link in the video to get them right now. It's the best thing you will ever buy. You will get 12 weeks of menu plans, including a dry erasable grocery list, which is really pretty fantastic. Um, you'll get all the menu plans you need to make, 60 freezer meals and desserts, and you will get a wood block to hold your cards in, and you'll get two of these really handy dandy freezer bag stands, which I'll show you them in a second. You'll get to be in part of the Passionate Penny Pincher Facebook group, um, private Facebook group where we talk about all the menus. They are so worth it. So click the link in the video if you're interested. How many of y'all? We're gonna do a giveaway before and after each meal. So give us a harder like, tell us where you're from. Also hit the S-H-A-R-E button and we will pick one lucky winner who shares over, um, to, we'll pick two actually, we'll pick two people to win a Starbucks gift card. So hit the share this button and we're gonna do a giveaway every couple minutes. If you if you place an order tonight and post your picture on the Passionate Penny Pincher wall, we will pick three winners. Actually, we'll pick three winners each day this week um, to get a, just post like a picture of the order. We are picking from some people who've already ordered. We have a lot more, but we thought we'd pick, we made a list. So here we go. So Pam Formel from Weir, Kansas. Hi, Pam. Pam Formel, we're gonna send you a $10 Starbucks gift card, which is super exciting. We're also gonna one. send one to. We're gonna do it every meal. Oh, I guess we'll do. Let's do one more now because we just started. Okay, Ruth Cobb in Arlington, Texas. Ruth, if you're watching, we will we will send these whether you're watching or not. So be watching ten dollars Starbucks gift cards. Everybody that is getting give away will get. I just said that wrong. These people are gonna get. So if you're in the ten, you're gonna get a ten dollars Starbucks gift card. If you order tonight or do anything else, you'll get an Amazon gift card. Okay, let's go. I'm so excited y'all are here. Hi, Shirley and Sarah and Dawn and Lori. I'm tickled y'all are here. We got another Kansas girl. Okay, so we are starting the first recipe, which is hash brown ham casserole. Caroline, you wanna hold that up for them while I fix this camera? Okay, oh, there we go. You can see that pretty well. I gotta scooch it right over here, okay. There we go. Hash brown and ham casserole. Okay, so what we're gonna do for the hash brown and ham casserole, Carolina already kind of gave her the instructions on this. She's gonna start mixing while I tell her what to do. So the first thing she's gonna do is she's got 20 ounces of hash browns. I chose to use the shredded hash browns because I like those for recipes like this a little bit more. So she's putting her hash browns in right there. And next up, she's going to add one and a half cups Colby Jack cheese. One cup of chopped ham. Cheese won't come out. That's good. Here, get the rest out. There we go. Four ounces of diced green chilies. Um, this is what makes the flavor so yummy in this, and you're gonna absolutely love this one. I'm gonna spread it around a good bit so that you don't get too much. So make sure you're spreading it. Or maybe if you just wanna have them on one end. She's like, oh, I really only want them on end, one end. She's a little nervous about that. And then we're gonna add in a one quarter cup of sliced green onions. She's doing a good job. I'm not as good about getting everything out. So thank you, Caroline, for being awesome. And then you're gonna just take. You got. It's okay. It's no, no, don't, don't mix it. I'm not, I'm not. Okay, hang on. You work on the eggs. eggs. She's gonna work on the eggs. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna spread this out a little bit. Okay. So she's mixing up four eggs. It's okay. It won't hurt anything. It's all gonna go together in the end. She's gonna mix up four eggs, and now she's gonna add in a can of evaporated milk. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Just kind of, I don't know, mm -hmm. I have clothes on my hair, it's not open. And then she's gonna pour that really gently over the whole thing. So your goal is to cover the whole thing in that. So you wanna pour it kind of, here, let's, I'm gonna scooch this back so I can see. 
Okay, all over. Pour it just real so go slow so everything gets covered. There you go. Good job, girly. Make sure everything gets covered. Okay, good job, too soon. You're doing awesome. Can y'all see? Make sure you get the edges. I am super excited about this one. This is one that would be yummy for a brunch. So you could add some fresh fruit in the summertime or you could do it um, for dinner. We'll, we would totally do this one for dinner. Again, add a fruit salad. That's it, I think you got it right over there. Good job, oh, I gotta turn it so they can see. Okay, now just finish up. That's it on this one. Then we're just gonna go ahead and take the plastic wrap. And what I love about these menu plans while she's doing that is, okay, so you've got the recipe. It also has the recipe card. And on the back of the freezer meals, week two, you can see we give you all the prep stuff. So there's all the prep you need to do ahead of time so that you know exactly what to do. It's super easy. Really, really, really makes everything done. So we had already sliced our green onions. It makes it way easier. So make sure you check that. We've also got the cards. So these are the small insert cards that come with the plan. And we're gonna just tape that right on there. Good job. Okay, now, now she's gonna add a layer of foil on top. On top of that, yep. Crap, good job. Hang on, we're having an Instagram. You need to scooch over there, let me finish this. Okay, we got our foil. Wait, just pause. Okay. So now we've got our foil over there and we're gonna add with some tape. We're just gonna put this right on top and this way when we pull everything out, we'll know exactly what to do and there's no like... You don't want this side? Turn it, no, we want the other side because we wanna know what to do on cooking day. So I just tape them on with some good packing tape. You can use whatever kind of tape you wanna use on the foil ones. Okay, there's one meal done. The next one we're gonna do... What? You want to do a after oh, yeah. Oh, James is going to come over. Y'all want James to pick out a winner? We have another winner here. James is going to pick the next winner. Hang on. She was about to forget. That I she forgot. She's going to do a card afterwards. Or not, so, hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we're going to dig in here. Dig for the next one. Next okay. winner. Dun, dun, dun. They sat all day and wrote uh -huh. your stuff. Tamara Rasmussen from Everett, Pen Washington. Washington. Yay, you get a $10 Starbucks, Starbucks gift card. Okay. okay, he's gonna make sure I keep picking these up. Okay, the next recipe we're doing is the one I'm the most worried about. I'll just tell you, this is the one you have to touch the chicken, y'all. And you know how much I don't enjoy touching chicken, but we're gonna do this together. It's gonna be fine. I can do this, you can do this. It's gonna be good. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix together. This is the ranch Parmesan chicken tender. So many people have said these are, this is one of the yummiest recipes. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and get a cup. You want a cup of ranch dressing. And I like to do it in a pie plate because that just makes it easier. She's got a cup of ranch dressing. I'm doing a cup of panko breadcrumbs and a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. That's okay, we've got another one. Um, go get that one. Just go get that other one while I mix this up. So we're gonna mix together the Parmesan and the panko, and I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, here we go. This is a lot of it. So here's our... Awesome. You're gonna pour that in there. Okay, so here's our panko, and there's our ranch. And we're gonna make an assembly line, basically. This is the part that we do not love. We're taking boneless, skinless chicken breast tenderloins, so you can see them. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna dip it first in the Parmesan. Parmesan first, not I'm sorry, first in the ranch, then in the Parmesan. Um, we gotta give us ourselves some space here. I do not like touching chicken, and of course, there's a fly, y'all, that is running around here, and it yeah, almost I just, guess. I think I can do this, and then you do the next piece. So I'm gonna dip here. That'll work on it. 
Okay. She's so got her mega tongs. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she, touching's easier. You think touching's easier? Good enough? No? Yeah, that's perfect. A little bit more, maybe. Good job. I think it might be easier with a fork, honestly, than that. Yeah. So what you're gonna do with these, you can see we're then gonna put them over on our um, parchment paper. And we're basically just gonna, um, these are slightly frozen. You can just touch it. How about it? Wash your hands. Wash your hands real quick. These are still a little bit frozen. If yours are a little bit frozen, they'll be fine. It's better if they're not because they will have some extra liquid, but they'll be fine. Um, these recipes are so forgiving, which is the best part about them. Okay. Are you doing a whole bag? We're doing a whole bag. You How many of y'all are doing this with you? What? Some more ranch. Some more ranch? Yeah. Okay. Faster. I don't know that we'll do the whole bag. Let's do, I think we'll do, the next, we'll do these last three and then. We only have room for two of them. Okay, we'll do those. I didn't even get that in. Okay. okay, so we've got our, these. We're about to, we'll, we'll pick one more person. And in just a second, if you make the recipes, you could always make it for two meals. You definitely could make it for two meals. That's what's great about these. A lot of people have said these feed five to eight people. Um, so if they're more than your family, can you split them into two meals and you'll be good to go. Okay. Okay, and the next one up, she's gonna finish this one. I'm gonna wash our hands. Oh, the big thing about this one is I'm actually gonna let James, take this one. You want to flash freeze this in your freezer because what you're going to do is. So if you look at him over there, hang on, I want to show you what he's doing. He's never done this before, so I'm going to teach him how. He's going to flash freeze that in the freezer, which means you're just going to put it down flat so that um, it'll freeze and then you can lay them in a bag and keep them that way. So it makes it really, really easy to do. You could definitely do that. Could you put the banco in the baggie with the chicken and shake it? You could probably do that. That's a great tip. I love that idea. This has been one of everybody's favorite recipes, so I would definitely check that one out. The next thing we're going to do is do another giveaway. How many of y'all ready for a giveaway? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, they're picking y'all. Okay, the next one. We're picking people who bought, so make sure you order so you can be on the list to buy. Beverly Stein from Lenexa, Kansas. Is so, that a second Kansas one? That's a second Kansas. We have a lot uh, of Kansas Beverly people. Beverly Stein from Lenexa, Kansas. I, I think that's Kansas. Oh my goodness, you ordered. Patty, I'm so excited that you ordered. Oh, Debbie, I'm tickled. Thank you guys so much for joining us and ordering. You're going to love these. Okay, we're going to scooch down here. So the next recipe, we're going to just bring everything down. It's pretty easy. Way. Okay, I am so excited about this one. This one is the sweet and spicy salmon. I need a freezer bag for this, a bag stand. Is this the salmon? Okay, this one is awesome if you are like me and don't ever know what kind of marinade to make for chicken. Um, so for, for salmon, if you struggle with like, you know you want to eat salmon, you want it to be yummy, um, She's going to show you. These are the free rear bag stands that we use, which are super fun, and they're included when you order in your packet. She's a much better Vanna White than I am. Okay, so she's going to have to get all the ingredients, though, now. This is going to get really hard right here. You got this. Okay, the freezer bag stands come in super handy, y'all. What I love about this salmon is it is already pre-put into bags. So I'm not going to do anything to my salmon. I'm just going to leave my salmon right here. I won't do anything different with it. I'll just leave it right as it goes. So it'll stay in its bag. I'll pack the marinade with it so that because you don't want to put a salmon in a marinade because it will taste yucky. So we've got our salmon here ready to go. We're going to mix together. I'm trying to move that over there. Okay, we're going to, uh, no, we're going to mix in this bowl right here. A quarter cup of honey. Uh, do you have measuring cups? Yeah. Where they always are. Our kitchen didn't move. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna do a quarter cup of honey. We're gonna do two tablespoons of soy sauce. That's a lot of honey. Yeah, that's a lot Slowly. Okay. Oh dang it. That's okay. It's, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. 
We'll scrape it. You want to go get a scraper and scrape it out here? Let's get this. Oh, don't do it on the bag because I won't have a sticky bag. Sorry. That's okay. Okay, just leave it. That's fine. That's fine. Go put it in the sink. Okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now we've got two tablespoons of soy sauce. And you could, again, this is super forgiving. So if you end up with a little extra, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, a, two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. And you can use any type of teriyaki sauce you find at the store will work great. Um, one tablespoon of rice vinegar. Squeeze ginger, which is right there. One tablespoon of squeezed ginger. Y'all, this squeezed ginger stuff is the best ever. If you've never used it before, totally check it out. It is so worth it. And then we need three garlic cloves minced. I'm gonna also just use the, the squeeze one. And then a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now, I don't like things to be super spicy and my family doesn't like super spicy stuff. So I'm literally gonna do the tiniest pinch. Like, here we go, y'all. There's my pinch right here. That's it, okay, so you can go put those away. That's all I've gotta do for the marinade. Now I'm gonna take my bag. Y'all can make it as skinny as you want. You can get it out there. I'm gonna mix it around a little bit in here and give it a good, you can just knead it. Hang on, I wanna turn, I wanna close the X, I gotta get the air out. Then you're just gonna get your air out. And you could obviously use a lot of different options here. I just am gonna do it like that. Um, what I'm gonna do now, because I wanna keep this all together, I'm not even gonna use a bag actually on this because this is already, these are all in bags. So I'm debating. I'm a little worried about this one staying safe. So what I'm gonna do is use that one. I'm a little, my only reason that I'm using an extra bag on this is just to um, keep it from spilling. You don't wanna end up with a bunch of juice in your freezer. So what you could do, like Caroline just said, we're using the bag anyways. If you don't want to even have to think about it, this is for two pounds of salmon. So I would say probably about four fillets. So there we go. Everything we need for sweet and spicy salmon, totally done. Super easy, super fast, super yummy. Okay, there's meal number two. Is that meal number two? No, no, that's a meal number three. Okay, time for a giveaway. You all ready for a giveaway? Let's see, we've got our giveaway people. Okay, remember, if you order, we will add you to the people to give away. They pick these people randomly. Okay. Here you go. Nalsa Shivers from Plano, Texas. Nalsa and either... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Nalsa N-Y-L-S-A from Plano, Texas. We're excited Plano, for you. Texas. You don't have to be watching tonight, but you do have to be... We go through randomly through people who ordered, and we just randomly pick like 100 names and throw them in the things today, and each day we'll add new names to that. So definitely check it out. Okay. Oh, so, such a good tip, Rosemary said. Rosemary said, this is a great tip. Caroline, this is a lesson you need to know. Rosemary said, spray your... Um, your cup, your teaspoon or your quarter cup with cooking spray before you add the honey in and the honey will pour, pour right out. I forgot to do that, but that's a great tip. How long do those need to be flash frozen? Those need to be flash frozen for a while. Okay. So like at least an hour or two. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna go to the next one is the Asian beef lettuce wraps. This is one that's super easy. I'm real excited about this one. Um, did we get, where's our ground beef at? Pull the ground beef over. Okay, so we already have our ground beef and we're actually using ground turkey to be a little bit, um, a little less, a little healthier because we don't, we try not to eat a ton of beef. Um, and what we're gonna do is, we've already got our ground beef here. Okay, let's do her trick. Go spray that with spray for the honey. We're gonna do another three tablespoons Now there are three tablespoons of soy sauce. What I love about these is a lot of these recipes tonight are all mixed, are all some things that you'll use all the time. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. How much do we need? Three tablespoons of honey. So we'll use things on this that we'll use in other recipes. We've already got our green onions in there, which was um, three green onions that are chopped. Did it come out better? Did it better? Got the same. Did you spray it really well? 
it spray pretty well. Um, okay, we've got our soy sauce. We're gonna put in our sesame oil. Sesame oil spills horribly. I've had sesame oil spill before on Facebook Live. Do not spill your sesame oil. So she's got the honey. I've got the sesame oil. Now we're gonna do a tablespoon of ketchup. Oh, no. Did you get it? <laughs> Honey's a mess. I will say if you're working with a honey, sorry guys, it is messy. And then a tablespoon of ketchup. This is Asian beef lettuce wraps. When you serve these, to bake these, um, you will cook these on the stove top. Oh my goodness, the smell of sesame is so yummy. So you'll make these on the, sto on the stove top the day that you cook them, but what we're gonna do is we've already got our ground beef added in here, right there. Okay, there's our ground beef. And we're gonna just pour this one in. Go get a um, scraper and let's scrape all the yumminess out. You wanna scrape all the yumminess out because it's so yummy tasting. You don't wanna miss any of it. Can y'all see that? Okay. Get all that goodness out. There we go, good job. That's good. Okay, and then, this is the grody part. I don't know if Caroline would do this or not. Once you pull it off, you mix it. But you just mix it right in the bag so you don't even have to like do anything. You can do it. We're just gonna mix this one right here. Super easy and yummy. And then we're gonna put it in another bag. Got some frozen chips. Good. That's good. And then we'll get our label. And then the night that we cook it, we're just gonna saute them. We'll serve them with some lettuce. Super easy, such a good one. So is that number four? No, yeah, that's it. That's number four, we got one more. Oh, okay, so James just came over. We're gonna pick another giveaway winner. We're so excited. Okay. One of the things that's really neat that I heard Lori tell me about all these meals is you can, you're making all these freezer meals so that you can like freeze them and you take them to where you're going. We're gonna take them on with us on vacation so that we'll already have them prepared so that we'll have four nights of meals for vacation, for family vacation, and we won't have to buy groceries on our trip. We won't have to spend the money to eat out. We'll already have it prepared. And as you can see, I know this hasn't been riveting TV. Like, I mean, it's not like sports or something cool. But still, I mean, she's doing a good job. She's giving me that face, but she's doing a good job. a good job here. But still, I mean, you know, it's saving us money and preparing our trip. Food. So it's really pretty cool. So I'm digging in, closing my eyes, so I'm not looking. So what's grabbing. nice is we're just gonna pack a freezer full of these meals, and we won't have to do anything else. Like he said, we'll just grab them out. Got Don Cobb from New Franklin, Ohio. Where's New Franklin, Ohio? Ten dollar Starbucks gift card for you and Don Cobb in New Franklin, Ohio. I'm yeah, so. We don't excited. know where is New Franklin, Ohio. We don't know where that's at. I don't know where that so. one's at. So anyway, go James. Go James. Yay, I like Yay. that comment. Yay, Yay James. Mary. Thank you for cheering. Don't cheer him on because he gets so excited. He knows you guys like him. He's like, oh. <laughs> okay, he, it's a great idea. It really is super handy. Okay, the next one we're going to make is the last chicken. but not least Hawaiian grilled chicken. And I love this one because, it, again, this is super easy. Remember when you order, you get the freezer bag stands, everything to make 12 weeks of meals. Um, and desserts. You can make these as freezer meals, but if you just want to make them fast, you can do that too. We're going to mix this in that bowl over there. So we need two to three pounds boneless, boneless chicken breasts, and these are cut into tenders is the way that I chose to cut these ones up. This camera so you guys can see everything. Now we're going to add in, we've already got a, th um, a third a cup of chicken broth. Now we're going to add in three quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce. Like I said, what's nice is we're using soy sauce on all of these, so we're using uh -huh. all the same stuff. Three quarter cup, so you're gonna need a bigger. Right there. Mix That's that a in. lot. There's a lot of soy sauce. And then three quarter cups of ketchup. We've already got the third a cup of chicken broth. And then we need the brown sugar. Did I put the brown sugar in already? Oh, there she goes. It's gonna splash. Well, don't let it splash. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it this way. And then we're gonna add in two cloves of the garlic. 
which you can use squeeze garlic. I just always, I hardly ever chop garlic. It's one of my big splurges in life is just have garlic. I like a lot of garlic. Oh, it spreads out. Okay, and then you're gonna just stir it up. So we're just gonna stir that. And then we're gonna, oh, let's see, chicken broth. I think we got everything, soy sauce, cola. These will be awesome to grill at the beach, and I'm actually gonna go ahead, because there's not that much, I've got some extra chicken tenders here. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in there too. Pour it in, don't pour it pour in. Pour it in. You know, are you good? I think I can, I don't know. There we go. All done. Okay, so five meals and the dessert. We'll show you the dessert here in just a second. We did the dessert ahead of time. Um, hang on just a second. And then I'm going to let James, we're going to pull out those lemon tenders and I'm going to show the, um, the chicken tenders and we'll show you how to flash freeze them. Here in a second. Do that last, last, last thing. Um, we need one more bag. Do you have the card? Inside? Um, with the freezer bag cards, I these are not made to be reusable because of food safety. I didn't want you to buy them and then end up like reusing them. You can stick them in a bag. I like putting them in a bag because it seems like it just keeps it super sturdy. Um, but like I said, because of food safety quality, I don't know that they'll hold up for everything but they are super handy. Um, and we don't have any extras of those in stock. We're about 90, before I started live, we were right at 90% sold out. We will not get these back in stock until September. So if you're interested, you definitely wanna try them out while they're in stock. We just finished up five. James is gonna come pick a winner. And then I'll show you guys. Hang on. Comes the winner box. And they're gonna get them. Okay. Okay. Hang on, I can't get my camera up. Okay, there we go. Okay, we've got Irene Franz Colligan from Plainfield, Illinois. So Irene Franz Colligan in Plainfield, Illinois. We will send you guys each an email if you want. So don't worry, we will send you an email. Also, if you order tonight, we will pick a person who we will pick three people who win who order over the next couple days to get as well get a ten dollar Amazon gift card as well. Okay, let's show you how to flash freeze these tenders. Go ahead and pull out the chicken tenders real fast. This is kind of the scariest, hardest part. I would probably freeze them a little bit longer than I just did. And people have told me over and over again, these are so yummy. What you're gonna do when you flash freeze, so this is, sorry. You're just gonna pull these out. When they're a little bit more frozen, you, let me see if they're frozen. Oh yeah, they're frozen enough already. So look at how easily these are just gonna slide into your bags. So you literally are just gonna put them all in your bag. They're pretty close to flash frozen. I would probably let them flash freeze for about, I don't know, maybe about 30 minutes would have been perfect. These aren't doing bad though. And then you go, you're gonna go to bake these. You'll thaw them out and bake them. Oh my goodness, we're actually gonna eat these for dinner tomorrow night. So I'm not gonna stress too much over this because I knew we were having these for sure for dinner tomorrow night. But so easy, so yummy. They're like one recipe that everybody has said over and over again, they love it. We're gonna do that, and then I wanna show you the lemon bars, and then I'm gonna answer any questions that y'all have, and I'll let you scooch that down there. Okay, finally, last but not least, the lemon bars. Every week comes with a dessert. This week is the lemon bars. Reagan made these earlier for us. They are fantastic. James, did you taste one? Not yet. You're gonna come taste one? I'll go. I'm gonna let him come taste one, and then I'll answer any questions that y'all have. How many of you wish you were just here at our house tonight? I hope you like them. I'll Hang tell on. you whether you want to be in the house and or not. And then we'll answer like any questions that y'all have. Okay, here we go. Those are good. Are they good? Are they really good? They really need to be refrigerated. Reagan made those. My 12-year-old made those. So to show you, these are easy recipes that anybody can make. They're so, so super simple. We used to get these when I was a kid, and they're good. These are really good. Are they really good? They're really good. They're really, really good. Yay! Yay good. for good recipes! So let me tell you, I'll give you the spiel and then I'll answer your questions. We have the freezer meals available as a PDF or as, let's turn that camera up. Freezer meals are available as just the PDF that you can just print at home or you can get a, have us ship everything to you. The ones that are shipped to you are about 90% sold out. So if this is something you're even on the fence about, I'm telling you what, don't be. We're gonna do these again Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning. 
I'll be on again, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning live. If you could see the mess I have here, <laughs> I'm trying to prep for everything and it's a little bit chaotic, um, but it will be so worth it this summer. You will save yourself so much time, so much money, so much hassle. It is so fantastic. Um, it's definitely worth checking out for sure. I'm gonna go. <coughs> I went to go look at this, and then I got sidetracked. You think you can do this, Teresa? You can totally do this. We'll have the tins available in the fall for sure. That's our goal. Um, they look yummy. You hopped on late. Where did you get the salmon? I got the salmon at um, Kroger. Best price on salmon, I would say, is probably. Oh, that's that's a big question. I have not priced salmon in so long. I didn't even look at the cost. Y'all tell me, what's the best price you found on salmon? Because I did not even look at it when I was ordering, so I'm just going to be honest with you. Not many dishes the night you... That's right. So you're not going to have a bunch of dishes. The other nice thing is, like you saw, we use a bunch of um, soy sauce tonight and a bunch of teriyaki. You use a bunch of things all at the same time, so you're not sitting there like going back and forth having to do things. You can refreeze chicken once thawed. You can. We did double check that. You definitely can do that. You made the eclair last cake, and it didn't last long. That eclair cake is... So yummy. We love it too. What size are the recipe cards? They are four by six. They are super sturdy. And the nice thing is on the back of each tab, they're going to tell you exactly what your freezer meal prep is. Anybody who has these, can you speak to the quality? I can't show you on this how good the quality is, but I'm going to tell you it's really, really good. The dry erasable grocery list is amazing because it literally, you wipe it off and you can reuse it for the whole life. Like I got one. This is silly. I haven't even gotten my own order yet. <laughs> even though these are mine and I made them, I had to wait for an order just like you guys. I got orders for my kids and then all for my grandkids. So that now that I even have, I don't have grandkids, but one day I'm going to have grandkids and they're going to want these cards in their lives because they are that good. So um, yeah, you'll be able to reuse use these for years and years and years. Your son and husband helped you and you got 18 meals done. Four by six, except the section cards are a little taller. You'll have to make the lemon bars. They are so good. How do you order? Joyce, click the link in the video and you can check it out for sure. Can you order, can you use already frozen meat? Yes, I used almost all frozen meat that was frozen already. Um, the only thing is I did thought some just so it was easier to work with, but um, it's fine to, re to use that if it's easier for you. You love the cards. They're not all Crock-Pot recipes. No, they are not all Crock-Pot recipes. Tonight we had one to bake. So just for an example, the chicken, the Parmesan chicken tenders will be to bake. The Asian lettuce wraps are going to be to do on the stove top. The hash brown ham casserole is going to be for the oven and... The salmon's for the grill, and the Hawaiian grilled chicken is for the grill. So a bunch of grilling recipes, lots of different options with them. Great quality, you just didn't notice the prep side of the card. Yes, use the prep side of the card. Thank you, you ordered them for your grills for Christmas gifts, Esther. That is so, thank you so much. And y'all, we are just like y'all, we are just normal crazy people. Like we're not a big business or anything over here doing this. So um, like I said, when, when we sell out, I think we'll sell out in the next couple of days. When we sell out, we have to cash flow everything we buy. So they will not come back in stock until we have enough money to buy more. And can't um, you grill some of the stuff that you crock pot and crock pot some of the stuff yes. you You can do them both when you're seeing. So you can take those recipes and flip them, right? Right. So like the honey grill, the honey chicken, Hawaiian. the Hawaiian chicken, you could do it in the grill. You could do it in the crock pot. A lot of the ones that are in the slow cooker series, you could do on the grill as well. And we really like those for sure when we do that. What about recipes for venison? We don't have any venison and recipes in there but you might be able to use some of the rubs for like the um the brisket you might be able to use one of the rubs for venison as well which week did you tonight i did week two so tomorrow morning i'll be doing week three Shree will be doing week four on tuesday i'll do week five on wednesday i'll do week six on thursday and then Shree will do week seven on friday so we're going to cover seven weeks this week they're so good and oh my gosh if you haven't made how many of you guys have made the pesto tortellini from week one so it was good. The pesto tortellini. It was fantastic. Your family's going to be like, wow, this girl is a rock star. You're going to be so excited for that. Um, do you do keto meals? We don't do keto meals at this point. We may at some point. We are going to offer a low-carb, low-cal version in January. That's our goal. You're pleased with your cards and your package. You'd love to have the crock pot and slow cooker cards. We are going to have the slow cooker cards hopefully back in no. Um, September, October. Yeah. Once they're out of stock, you guys, it takes us, we ordered these to be shipped to us in December. 
So everything got pushed back, of course, with COVID, and so we're way behind on these for sure. You can't wait to buy the ingredients to start having it tomorrow night. How do you order the PDF? Angela, if you click the link at the top of the page, there should be an option to get just the PDF. It is $16.95, um, super worth it. It ends up being like $1.40 per week. The physical cards end up being like $3, and like I said, it includes the freezer bag stands. Um, yeah, freezer bag stands, these. It includes the small cards to put in here. It includes the cute wood block. I'm gonna demonstrate the wood block. Um, but, but the PDF, if you like the PDFs, that works really well as well. How cute is that? So fun. What, you're, what are you laughing at? No one. Okay. <laughs> Um, you had the pesto chicken last night. Wasn't it good? You've loved every recipe so far. Thank you so much. Guys, if you have not ordered and you have a question for me, ask me it and I will answer those questions for sure. You did this cheesy spinach tortellini from week nine. That one is fantastic. My son told me that's like what on his, he said, mom, if I'm about to die, that's one of the recipes I want you to make me. Hopefully he's not about to die anytime soon, but that's what he said. You did week three today. I love that. Um, the recipes come out in the fall fit the tins. Yes. Um, the recipes will fit the tins, but if you have two sets of tins, if you have two sets of recipes, you can see this filled up my tin, so you won't have any more room there. You gave the tins in the crock pot to your girls for Christmas, and they love them. You made the pesto tortellini. You have so much for shopping. You have so much fun shopping for these. I love that. Hi, in Melissa in Williamstown. You got yours, and we love them. You can hardly wait for low calorie. I can't wait for low cal calorie either. I'm excited about that one coming out. The skillet apple pie is so good. Someone told me they had a problem with the skillet apple pie. I've made it a million times and I thought it was good, so I got worried about it. So thank you for telling me that the skillet apple pie worked for you. I think it must have been a glitch. They, I think they burned it. If we do the PDF, will you send us? Uh, yes, we will send. If you do only the PDF, we will not send everything to you. If you do, if you do everything, you will also get the PDF. So you'll get both, all of it for sure. Hey Sandy, glad to see you over on Instagram. Can we prep the slow cooker meals on the, can we prepay for the slow cooker meals in the grill? No, we're not doing any prepaid ones. So you have to order, um, yeah, you have to get it right there. They are amazing quality. I love that we need the low carb ones. I know that's what everybody's wanting. Um, you have a dessert with each week. I love having a dessert with each week. When, sh when will you have the bag, bag, bag holders back in stock? We should have the bag holders back in stock, in stock. hopefully. We're hoping in July, so those should come back. Um, if the little menu cards are in a bag, why are you worried about contamination? I'm not worried about it, but that I just, I am putting them in the bag to be on the safe side for contamination. Well, holiday recipes, holiday, so we're going to do the locale first and then holidays will be coming right after that. So yeah, I'm excited. And grilling, y'all grilling are going to be coming. I just got an update last night. We hope we'll have grilling to sell in July. Those look amazing. I'm really excited about those. Um, but if you order the physical cards, you also do get the PDFs. Do the tins come with cards? The, pin, the tins are not available right now. Like I said, um, we don't have any of those in stock, but we will hopefully have some of those available in the fall for sure. Um, Josie Reynolds, your girls will love these. Thank you for sharing. Barb, low carb would be great. Um, thank you for sprinkling, Rebecca. I appreciate it. You made the honey garlic chicken thighs and they were yummy. I'm excited. I think I'm making that one tomorrow morning. Um, you can't wait for grilling. Hey, okay. I think we got everybody's questions. You guys, if you're on the fence, like I said, they're, um, about 90% sold out when they're out, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. They will, we hope restock in September. So if you think you're going to want these, I would check them out. Um, you grill in the middle of winter there in Alaska, Arinda. I love that. Tiffany, I'm so excited for you too. You love the quality of the cards. You can't wait to start. That makes me so happy. You guys, thank you so much for being courageous and trying these out with me. I think they are going to save your family so much time and money and stress, and I know you will love these. Um, yeah, we will have the Crock-Pot ones available in the fall. I know I talked a lot, guys. I try to answer all of your questions, and there's lots of questions on only one voice of me. So thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Five meals done. Y'all have an awesome night, and I will see you guys in the morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time. I'll be here making the rest of the batch. I've got everything prepped. So I'll be here in the morning. Y'all be back and we'll see you then when we do the next five. Y'all have an awesome day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.